everybody and welcome to Tarot by Isabella. I hope you're all doing great and I'm very happy to see you here. Today's video will be a prediction video for the country of Egypt and we'll, it will be a prediction video for three months ahead that will say uh, January, February and March 2023. And to do this video I'm gonna use crystal ball tarot cards, oracle cards and some dice. But before we start I just want to thank you all wonderful viewers for your wonderful support, for your comments, for your subscribing, for the sharing and caring. And since it's very very soon New Year I also want to wish you all a very happy New Year and that the next year will be filled with blessings and health and abundance in all of your lives. So now we're going to start with the reading. And uh, I'm going to use my crystal ball and this is a quartz crystal ball. And before we begin, I just need to concentrate for a few moments on the country of Egypt and ask the powers, the forces to be with us so accurate and good information can come through. And uh, now I just have to concentrate a little bit and soon we begin. The country of Egypt. Now I'm going to start. I just need to put my glasses on and we'll see what we're going to find here for the country of Egypt. Egypt is um, a country with a lot, a lot of ancient history that goes back far, far with a lot of mysteries and a lot of unsolved problems that the expert cannot explain. And um, we're not going to look into so much in the mysteries of Egypt today uh, since that would take... Uh, ages uh, to talk about uh, and I will just concentrate uh, on the country of Egypt and um, what the citizens uh, may expect that could occur in the following three months. And I must mention, as I mentioned in my previous videos, uh, time is very difficult to predict on and when I say three months, it's an approximate. Uh, when a vision is stronger, things could happen within these three months or even sometime sooner. And uh, when it's not so strong, it may, may not occur. But um, time, as I said, is difficult. So uh, it could happen later. Uh, and um, as I said, they, if the vision is strong, it has a very high probability that it will occur within this time frame. Well, what do I see here in for the country of Egypt? Mm. Uh, we have the River Nile and it's the heart of Egypt, uh, the blood that makes the country um, work. And there will be some problems with uh, the Nile. I see the water. I well, water changes the the level of the Nile changes every year. Uh, could be that during a period the level will go very very um, much down, uh, almost like a drought, and people can get worried where is the water, 
uh, why is that not so much water in the river Nile? Um, I don't see this like, like the Nile will disappear or um, dry out. No, it's something temporary. It's going to sink quite a lot, uh, more than usual, and then rise to normal level. But still enough sinking uh, to make people worried. Um, what can happen when the River Nile's level goes down more than usual? Um, when the water level goes down, then also some kind of um, hidden treasures or um, hidden uh, archaeological finds could come to the open that has been uh, covered uh, by water. The citizens of Egypt, I see them quite stressed. They're, they are, like all of us uh, around the world, worried about their future, about the country, about um, their children's future. Things are not going so well. People are struggling also in Egypt. Um, Egypt could also have some strange rules uh, for the farmers, but I don't see that their government uh, really can um, put them into action because uh, there will be too much protests and um, man many people are quite poor in Egypt and if you don't have so much you're going to really fight to the bitter end. So they are a little bit cautious in um, taking any actions against the farmers. Mm. Symbolically, I see um, the northern Egypt in the delta, around the delta of the Nile. And they also have harbors, they also have a lot of ships uh, that goes to all kinds of places around the world uh, with goods and um, merchandise from different countries in Africa. It's like the gathering there and it goes further. We have all heard about uh, different kind of trafficking and um, I see that some kind of ring in, in that horrible practice will get busted, you can say, uh, blown up and many people involved in this will be caught and that stream of people, young people, old people, doesn't matter, will be stopped. Um, the people of Egypt are very proud of their country and their country's history. Um, but I get a strong feeling that uh, they feel betrayed um, by the rest of the world, especially the Western world, that have tried to infiltrate and make problems in their country. During the 
lockdowns and so on. Um, a lot of business went down in Egypt. There were not so much tourists and um, since it's a country that also have a lot of their income from the tourists, there were a lot of families and a lot of people that suffered deeply financially. And that loss of money uh, made a lot of people poor, even poorer, and that causes um, concerns. Uh, in the future, I'm not sure if, not, probably not during these three months, I'm talking about maybe one, two, three years, uh, when new technology will be available for many people on this planet. And this technology uh, will have something to do with making desert flourish. And it will be taken to practice in many areas of Egypt where there is a lot of desert and a lot of um, land that cannot be cultivated for crops <coughs> at this moment. Because I see um, in the future like patches of, um, of land uh, desert land transform into oases with fruits, with uh, vegetables, with uh, weeds. And more people in the future will be working in the fields. And uh, abundance will come to uh, the country of Egypt. In this following three, four months to come, there could be some new rules, some new restrictions regarding cars and traffic in the major cities. That some roads are closed for traffic and that it will not be able to drive with cars. Uh, for the environment's sake, but also for uh, smog and to try to get um, cleaner air. What I also see very, very strongly, and it's um, like hitting me in, in, in the face, um, is um, uh, this new technology that will come out and this is not only for Egypt, Egypt, it's for the countries that have a lot of desert uh, and a lack of clean water. And it will be a technology that is very safe and very easy to um, apply uh, to make drinking water, fresh water from seawater. And it's not with um, normal fuels like oil or, you know, like you heat it up in that way. No, it's a totally different technology. Could be some kind of membrane, some kind of new stuff. You just pour the water from that thing and it takes away all the salt and out comes fresh water on the other end. And it's very quick and it can handle big, big amounts of seawater. And this technology uh, in the future will be applied to many, many desert areas. And I see pipelines going from the oceans across countries, but these pipelines don't contain oil. Or gas they contain fresh water 
and it will not be owned by big corporations that will make a lot of money on this no it will be owned by the people and it's goes the pipeline and other pipelines and villages and the countryside that have a um, lot of desert a lot of problem with clean water um, their villages their population will flourish due to this clean water in the future uh, a big bridge in a major city in Egypt I cannot say if it's Cairo or Luxor or another but it's a very big city like a viaduct goes yeah and I see that bridge it's like poorly built and it, there is a big big risk that one big bridge uh, will crumble will fall down The good thing in this bad news is that on this bridge it's like it gives warning signals like moving a lot before it goes down so people have a pot opportunity to stop their cars or escape um, a tragedy. In Egypt there will be some cleanup actions in their governments, in their um, political mm, people, among the political people. Um, due to corruption, due to bribes and things like that. And when explain it in English um, when there is a um, stop in, in a tube and that stop is cleaned then the energy money can flow and it's like uh, about that um, the takeaway what stops progression and money and help for the ordinary city can flow. It could be some kind of revolution again, but this kind of revolution will be different. I get more vibes or energy vibes like the kind of things that Gaddafi in um, Libya wanted to have for it for for the country before it was destroyed um, s something similar um, wait is waiting for Egypt Um, the first three months of the year could be not specifically um, uh, happy or bright. Um, things are moving, it's an uh, uprising, people are worried. Um, the big changes will come later. Uh, whatever happens in the Western world we will in one way or another affect Egypt. One big news paper station uh, will be totally closed. Mm. And um, different kind of news will also be shown in Egypt. In the future, and this is not during these three months, it's, it will be a little bit more later. 
Uh, I see people like moving out from the big cities, moving out more to the countryside, and that the living in those countryside area could be very, very good, especially when um, new techniques and new technology uh, will come in practice. It will be talked about that um, it will be much easier to get married in Egypt in the future. Um, there are different traditions there than maybe Western Europe and the young men will have more possibilities uh, to start family. Or for young couple, you can say, um, easier to get housing, to get support for uh, starting a, a, a family. They will find some ancient, antique a kind of stone tablet, or um, yeah, it's a, it looks like a stone tablet with uh, writings in different languages, also in um, with hieroglyphs something similar to the Rosetta Stone but more in detail and this will be even older than this stone and, and the symbols and it, some pictures that are carved on this stone will shock the world because how is it possible? Mm -hmm. When that comes, it will be headlines everywhere, all around the world. Doesn't have to happen in these three months, uh, but something will occur in that style. A new grave with treasures will be found. Even more, we can say, even bigger than Tutankhamun's. If you have Egypt like this, with the Nile going down, you have the west here, east there. On the western border of Egypt, I see military with tanks, with um, soldiers, like moving in that area uh, to some conflict on that border. I don't see that conflict escalate to a um, very bloody war, but some some fighting uh, will occur and it will last could last a couple of weeks but then it, dis it, it disappears and in e Egypt will the population of Egypt will also be glued to uh, uh, to their sofas and watching very um, important news on the TVs and those news will not be uh, manipulated news uh, propaganda news it will be more what's really going on and that will happen sometime during these three months and people are smart they are clever I should never underestimate uh, anyone. 
and I see many interviews with um, very high educated uh, Egyptians from universities uh, with studies and their um, what they have to say will totally uh, be uh, different than the educated people in the Western world. So it will be yeah, an opposite story. And who is to say that those people's educated persons uh, doctors, professors, that their word or their opinion is less worth than a um, so-called professor from the Western world. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I could see in the crystal ball. Let's continue to the tarot cards. And I just need to shuffle them a little bit before we're going to take uh, some cards on the country of Egypt. Um, yeah, there are a lot of crocodiles around the Nile. Uh, the river Nile and in some areas a little bit further south uh, I see that groups of crocs um, 15, 20, 30 big groups gathering together and they will also behave in very strange way like something is about to happen and people will um, I say record it and it will be talked about. Egypt, Egypt. Take some cards on Egypt. And some oracle cards. Oh, two came here. And a couple of dice. One, two, and three. Let's see what the dice says. Here we have a person with a gift. Here we have a, what is this? A guy with glasses and travel. Passion very soon, children, surprises, something shocking. Okay. Well, something very shocking will be revealed about the little ones. Um, some kind of trafficking will be revealed and the little ones are traveling out from the country uh, as gifts to uh, yeah, 
to people that are not so so good people to very evil people this will be revealed and it will come as a shock yeah here we have anxiety among the people when that will be announced and after the new year uh, we come into a new era um, that will be better also for Egypt I'm not saying that directly after the new year after these three months during these three months but people will start to see changes mm. and I talked about some digging up they're gonna find some grave uh, with some very big treasures and these cards talk about we have the death we have a woman in high position we have treasured treasures and it's like it could be already been it could have already been found but they are quiet about it they don't want um, everybody to know and they have been lying that this is nothing here but something will be revealed and it will make people go oh my god what is this and this big treasure will in the future make people to travel more to Egypt to see it with their own eyes more tourism mm -hmm. now I'm gonna take some last words or oh, last cards sorry uh, for the country Egypt to see if there are any if there is any additional information to be said about this wonderful country of mysteries when I see something as I said I have to say it even if it may seem a little bit out of um, the context um, I see there will be some kind of renaissance in um, the cultivation of cotton and it could be some kind of cotton that is uh, ancient ancient vari variety and that is very strong and very good quality uh, fibers and this cotton uh, is not GMO it's like old seeds that they have uh, rediscovered and it will make fabulous wonderful uh, material uh, from this cotton almost silk like in, in texture texture and uh, uh, the touch of it let's see some last words for the country of Egypt and some dice one two and two here we have some guy moving a heavy object finger and our word world ideas preserved house 
pay attention to the red flags. cards say that we have to pay attention to the red flags that is happening around in our world and that is not only in the country of Egypt it's everywhere everywhere in every country there are strange things going on there are a lot of corruption there are uh, hidden agendas and uh, it's like we have to move them away before we can uh, live happily and this is what is really going on uh, on a smaller level but also on a bigger le level and one finger is like pointing so it will be pointed out uh, in Egypt but also in other countries where the need where the red flags are so people will have direction this is red flag this is red flag and this is red flag and this red flag will not be hidden it will come to the open for everybody to see and that could be hard for many many of us uh, to acknowledge that we have been um, lied to uh, that we have been um, deceived on many areas in life and especially with uh, history with hidden history with history that has been manipulated for us to believe that this is how it was but really the true history is something totally different and that especially concerns Egypt and Egypt's history that goes back so much more than we are taught, taught in um, in school and the last cards here they talk about uh, a period of time for Egypt that is waiting a couple of months one one and a half year that is like no big changes but it's like small steps and then when the big changes come um, the whole country will have a lot of prosperity because I have the emperor here. So people will have a much easier life and it will be easier to start your own business, to um, be able to work and live well from the salary uh, of your work. And Egypt will be involved with a lot of uh, charity and helping project for neighboring countries. A lot of things will go on in Egypt, but good things. Well, that was my reading for Egypt. And to all you Egyptian wonderful people, wish you all the best. There are big changes coming and big changes that will be beneficial for many of your citizens. Changes for the better. And um, to all of you, if you have liked what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press like button, share button and subscription button. And once again, I want to wish you a very, very happy new year. Um, that the two thousand year of 2023 will be filled with blessings, wonderful changes for the better, and that you will have abundance in every area of your life. Wish all the best, and hopefully we're going to see each other soon again. Bye-bye.